Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life and today I'm going to do my gift guide for two to three year olds. These are all products that my son loved to play with when he was two to that three year old range. I do have a video that I just posted here of what I got my kids for Christmas this year video. My son is about three and a half years old right now so these are items that I just purchased for him as well as my soon to be, she'll be three months old come Christmas time, which I can't believe it, but that video will be up above for y'all interested. I also have a whole bunch of gift guides here on my channel talking to you guys from moms, babies, other toddler videos, men gift guides, so I will link the playlist up above for anyone who's interested. But without further ado, let's get into this gift guide for two to three year old toddlers. So the first thing I want to recommend, we actually gave this to my son last year for Christmas and it is the Nuggets. We actually have two, I'm sitting next to him right here. We, last year they had like a crazy back order. It was like all the rage hype, so we, had our name on back orders and we also won they had like a lottery system and stuff so we won one and then we had our back order for the other one so one came just in time for christmas and then the other one we got for his birthday in march i highly recommend these tons of different ways that you can arrange them they're kind of like cushions that you can jump on and they kind of are sturdy enough to kind of form and they can climb on it. So super fun. We have a new addition that we're going to do with these nuggets for my little ones. But so many formations, houses, things that they can do, obstacle courses with these. So highly recommend this on your list. The next thing I wanted to talk about is his art easel. So this is what it looks like currently downstairs now. One side is dry erase magnetic, the other side is a chalkboard, and he got this when he was one years old and didn't really play with it that much, maybe the magnets every now and then, but from that two to three year old mark, he was obsessed with it. He's starting to kind of draw circles, try and write his name now that he is about three and a half years old right now, so highly recommend this. I also purchased like little magnets here and there whenever I see it at the Target dollar spot. So we have dinosaurs on there now and some letters, things like that. So an art easel is definitely something perfect for this age range. This one also has a little clip at the top. So I buy a big kind of roll of that butcher paper. So then you can rip that off and they can draw or paint on that. Or if you have those big kind of coloring pages, they can paint on that as well. And that clip is really secure to hold any kind of paper or things that they're doing arts and crafts wise. So art easels are perfect for this age range. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the Pottery Barn Anywhere chairs. So ours is currently in the playroom. I did purchase this for my daughter who will be three months old. Kind of early for her but it was just kind of a Christmas gift that my children get each first Christmas, but these are awesome. They come in different sizes. I definitely just recommend you guys get the anywhere chair so that way they grow with it. My son loves to read in it now, but it's something that little ones can start pulling up on and climbing on. It's using to stand and walk around on, and then they can just use it as a regular chair. You can get it personalized. There's so many different colors and things you can do. My son has the navy with the white piping, and my daughter has like the pink polka dot one, and they both have their names on it. They you can change out the covers and things like that, but a really nice gift for your little ones. The next item is something that he got went like right around when he was one and a half two and used basically that whole two to three year old mark but it's the little tyke slide so let me show you guys it real quick so this is what the slide looks like there are a couple different parts that you do have to put it together when you receive it ignore kind of the messy playroom but it has like a little hole in there that they can climb in they can climb up and slide down my son right now is so smart and uses it to you turn on and off the lights now in the playroom. How a genius is that? So I just kind of keep it in there so he can turn the lights on when he comes in the playroom. And this thing is amazing. He loves it even now that he's three and a half. This definitely is probably one to three year old best suited, but he will still play like Spider-Man on it. Use it as a tower, things like that. You can put cars down the slide. So the one to three year old kind of mark is the perfect age for this toy. The next thing I want to say 
for boys specifically are cars. My son is obsessed with cars and has always kind of loved playing with his cars. We have Hot Wheels. There's a Disney Hot Wheels set that he got last year for Christmas and he loves playing it with his little car tower. Another car that he loves using is this ginormous Hot Wheels monster truck. If you guys are into Blippi or no Blippi, he's obsessed with that monster truck song and this is one of the cars he is obsessed with playing with. He also has these little robots, transformer kind of things. This is perfect for younger toddlers or preschoolers. Very easy to kind of set up and they're called rescue bots. If, there's also a TV show on Netflix for you guys who are interested, but rescue bots are definitely fun and they're less confusing to transform as some of the other transformer toys, but that's a good one as well. Another thing are the Paw Patrol cars and their figurines. So last year we pretty much did the big collection of Paw Patrol toys. So he has Sky, Rocky, Marshall, what else? Um, Zuma, all of them. So I will kind of link everything down below for you guys interested in the insert for any new ones. We don't have the dinosaur dog yet, so that will still be on his list. He loves to collect all of the Paw Patrol things. Now I will say, if you purchase these kind of cars and their dogs, it doesn't go with the car tower. So there is a Paw Patrol car tower. We do not have this um, because you need certain cars and dogs for that one. One. So these may not fit necessarily in the car tower. So if you are interested and your toddler is interested in the car tower, you have to be mindful of what kind of cars can go with those, if you know what I mean. So we just don't bother with the car tower. He uses the nugget sometimes as his car, Paw Patroller kind of thing, or the slide. So it's up to you and what your toddlers prefer, but we didn't need the specified tower in their collection of cars because you know they keep coming out with new Paw patrol characters all the time. So we don't want to keep changing that up and having to purchase new ones every now and then. The other thing I wanted to mention that he has loved and even his friends are is this big bulldozer. So this is the caterpillar bulldozer. I have even sat on it. Don't recommend it. But I have sat on it. So this comes out and it makes different noises, things like that. They also have a shovel, so you could use it for outside. We keep it inside, but this is a great indoor or outdoor toy. If you're interested in outdoor toys, I have a whole gift guide right here of the best outdoor toys for toddlers, preschoolers. Check that video out. But this is a fun one that I wanted to mention. He puts blocks and stuff in there, or those schooly like rainbow bears, which are another good gift guide idea as well. So highly recommend that. The next thing I wanted to recommend, which he got for his first birthday, but this is still a perfect age range for that, is a music instrument book bag. So what I love most about this is it all gets contained in this book bag, so you don't have instruments throughout your whole playroom or house, things like that. And it comes with so many different instruments for your music lovers out there. And this is such a fun way to kind of sing songs and just play with music and get that kind of fun experience with your little ones. We also have like a music kind of class that we did back in the day. He now does a different music class now, but we used to bring these or do these online when there were Zoom classes and stuff like that. So this is such a fun gift idea. The next thing I wanted to mention is our water sand table. So this is really neat. That is a dinosaur kind of theme. Half of it you can use for sand and the other half for water. Right now we use it all for sand. It does the job. We love it and highly recommend it. The other thing is our water table. These are just two items that every toddler preschooler loves to play with, especially outside. When it's cold outside, water may be a little too cold, but you can use shaving cream or bubbles, things like that, and that is a great idea as well. The other two toys I wanna to mention for outside is the Fisher Price Swing. This is at my parents' house. They have the perfect patio for it, or you can even swing it through a tree. My son still loves playing with it, and he loved it back in the day, so I had to throw that in here. And then the Radio Flyer Trike. So this thing is really neat because it has different stages of it. You can use it first and just fully push them, and then they can start using the pedals, and then eventually they use it like a bike for themselves. So that has been a really great grow with him gift, and we still continue to use it today. The next thing is from Melissa and Doug, and I brought a couple of the items, but it's downstairs in his playhouse. But these are the Melissa and Doug cleaning set, and he loves 
this. It comes with a broom, a mop, a dustpan, uh, like a Spiffer duster, and this is just so fun to play house, play make-believe with. I mentioned he has a playhouse. I can show you a picture here of the one we got. It's from Cedar House, I believe. I will link it down below. No affiliate or anything like that, but we highly recommend it if you're interested in a playhouse. It even can go outside we wanted to keep it inside so we have something to play with in the winter time. But he loves to play like the big bad wolf, little pig, little pig, let me in. And you like blow down the house kind of thing. And then he has his kitchen in there that fits in there nicely. And then the cleaning tools. So that's kind of his play house area. And we highly recommend it. I decorate it for all holiday seasons. It's a really fun idea. The next item is this kind of spelling puzzle and if you're interested in puzzles I have a whole puzzle progression video I can link that up above of kind of the basic puzzles he started with to more advanced and then this one's thrown in there as well but this is from Melissa and Doug and it has all of the wooden letters in here and then there are cards in here that have just kind of the spell out boat, duck, you name it. And that way he can practice his letters, learning to spell. He's starting to do amazing on this. And we started very young with him with this. And I highly recommend it because they start to learn very easily on just even fitting the shapes into the letters. And then you just kind of give them that letter recognition that way. And then these are all color coded. So another thing that my son loves to do, just do color sorting with the letters or now he's spelling his name with them on the nugget, things like that. So he loves this and highly needed to recommend that. A game that I recommend is Zingo. So this is a really fun game. It says this is for ages four and up, but I started playing this with him when he was around two to three years old. It has this r red little, card thing and you slide it forward and back and you get two cards the game cards here and they just have to match up the pictures and when they get three in a row they win or when they're older you can have them pull up the whole card to just kind of take a little bit more time and we highly recommend this game so fun they even have a numbers version as well that's on his wish list for this year another cleaning kind of toy that my son loves to play with is the Dyson vacuum cleaner what's neat about this one is there is a little hole on the the bottom that you can pop this little guy out and you can see that he has actually sucked up some dirt in there if you can see that right there so it does do a little bit of cleaning as well as as being fun to play with there are two buttons this is for the main contraption and then the top button here that has the little play dirt going around and this matches mommy's vacuum so he loves to vacuum alongside with me so if you have the same similar vacuum or someone who likes to help out while cleaning that is a good toy option as well the next thing i want to talk about is the bubble machine that we use it looks like a little fish guy and it is so fun to play in the backyard with friends or just by himself this is so easy to do you just pour the solution in and then you hit the on button and it blows the bubbles for you and as a mom that, that is something that is a very easy and fun to do and then you can even pick it up and like move it around we discovered this from the gym area that he likes to play in and play with and they had the same thing so they used it so I picked it up and I love it so highly recommend that the next thing is a necessity a must-have if you're someone like me and these are the toddler towers so this is something that is also called I think a kitchen helper but it's something I got for him on his first birthday I believe so you can fold it and compact it when you're not in use but you can also have it out this is something they can use if they want to help in the kitchen help bake help cook and they don't have to stand on like a wobbly chair or a stool or something like that this is high enough that they are able to reach the countertops so keep that space clean if you know what I mean so we normally have this up in our kitchen island and he used to eat his lunch up there and then he can run off and go off um, when he was like too old for a booster seat kind of thing he also helps make like Christmas cookies on there any kind of baking I kind of help and move that stuff over to the kitchen island for him to do there is a dry erase board side of it so they can use magnets and draw on that as well cute shapes but highly recommend this it has been a necessity and a must-have on 
my list. If your little one likes to play doctor, play pretend, is the Melissa and Doug vet kit. So I'll share a picture of what all the items look like. It's kind of all in his costumes box right now. But he loves playing this with his stuffed animals. There are like different kind of tools, doctor tools, that you can use on your animals. You can even pretend that you're sick yourself and your little one will help make you feel better. So this is a very fun make-believe kind of gift. The next thing I wanted to talk about is his beach chair. This is a foldable like portable beach chair but we also use it in our backyard or driveway or whenever we have like a soccer game or a baseball game kind of thing. It has a strap so you can hold it kind of behind your back and it has a sunshade on it. So this has been perfect to taking to the beach. With us, I have another kind of toddler beach gift guide right here of any toddler necessity products that we love, including this chair and highly recommend it. It's so easy to open and close and it fits them perfectly. The next thing Jackson received last year, but this is the train table and I have a picture here currently downstairs. I was not gonna bring it all the way upstairs. It has a whole bunch of different pieces to it. He loves to play on it. I also got him the Thomas the Tank Engine kind of trains as well to go with it. That went in his stocking last year as like an addition because I knew he was getting this train table from his grandparents. He loves it, plays with it all the time. I love that it has the red bin storage system underneath. So when you're not in use or things aren't in play, Currently, you can throw it in that bin and not have to see it and deal with it on the floor, looking a mess on the train table, if you know what I mean. But this is such a fun gift your toddler and preschooler will love. The next thing I want to mention are Picasso tiles or magnet tiles. Now, they are basically the same thing. Magnet tiles are the main brand one and a little bit more expensive than Picasso tiles. I'll leave our favorites down below. But this is something he got last year and I had to talk about it with you guys. This is the Magnetic Marble Run Set. Now this is definitely something you need to do with your little ones. It is a little bit more advanced for toddlers to put together themselves. Mainly because of like you need to know kind of the direction of which the ball needs to go. These just kind of hook right into the squares. So there are squares that come in this. I kind of store it separately, but they have holes so you can kind of make your own little marble run. And the marbles are a lot bigger than like small little marbles. There's like a little marble inside this big plastic thing. So it lessens the choking hazardness of it. But I do store this away from like the open playroom area. He has to be supervised with this, especially since he has a little sister now. But this is something really fun to add on to your Picasso tiles. They go really well with this. This, like I said, comes with the squares with the circle, but you can build different kind of things with your regular magnet tiles and Picasso tiles with it. This next thing is another fun gift idea for the toddlers in your life, and this is I think they're called like poppets. I'll have to look up exactly what these are called. But it is this big kind of square with all these holes. And I think it's called like button art. I will link it down below so y'all know for sure. But what you do is you can take all of these little buttons out and you pick whatever picture you want to do and then you just kind of put it wherever the color tells you to. So the purple is there orange is there and they can make their own art with it from using kind of the card suggestions or they can make their own. So Jackson has definitely a couple of times taken it without any of the pictures and just kind of made his own little creation on here. Really fun and easy for them to do and be creative themselves. It also comes with two eyeball guys right here. So there's like you saw the ladybug, there's a bird, dinosaur, things like that. So really fun for them to play with. The next thing here is an indoor outdoor kind of toy. I typically do it outdoors, but it is this kitchen sink. And what's so fun about this is the temperature of the water changes the cups and plates. So it'll turn white. It originally starts pink and blue and it will turn white. This sink works amazing. You need batteries for it. Screw it in. Um, if it does mess up within 30 days, I have contacted the customer service people and received a free one in replace of it. So highly recommend you guys check that out if you do have difficulty with like tightening the screw enough that water gets into the batteries. But this has been working great for us. We love it. Also has this like cleaning scrubber brush that he loves to play with and even plays with it like with his sand toys, things like that. 
So highly recommend you guys check this out. This is a great toy too if you have a patio area in the like winter time when it's cold outside. It's not a full blown water table, but just like a working sink. I don't know, something about moving water for toddlers and preschoolers they are obsessed with. Here is from VTech and this is the Alphabet Apple. And there are a whole bunch of different stages and games and stuff to play with this. My son now is loving to just kind of do the phonics fun. So you just kind of hit a button. L says, Ooh. and he's had a really fun time learning how to properly pronounce it. It's something he's also doing with at school. There's a hungry worm where you just kind of hit the flashing apples. There's also a sequence, follow the lights, where he has to kind of hit different lights for it. Quiz, where it would be like press letter K, press letter W. A really fun interactive toy where they also learn a little bit more about their letters and alphabet. Last toy I wanted to mention is called the Hopper. And there are different kind of characters. There's also plain balls as well. Paw Patrol for my Paw Patrol loving boy. And they basically sit on this and bounce and hop on it, get a lot of energy out. And it is a lot of fun for them. They just kind of hold on to the handles, wrap their legs around it, and kind of hop. Super fun toy for him. Another thing I want to mention, and it is definitely higher price point is our bounce house and this is what it looks like there is a smaller version as well we had this one and we keep it in our playroom and a lot of people use this outside like i said i like to have toys and energy sufficient toys i guess to help burn their energy inside so i will clear everything from the playroom out and blow this thing up inside during rainy days and it is such a lifesaver, helps burn his energy, a super fun, a special thing to do in the rain and cold. But that is everything for this toddler gift guide for my two to three year olds. I do plan on doing my three to four year olds, the toys that he has been playing with a little bit more now that he's older. Um, so be sure to subscribe for that. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing